Hey, you already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man, CodingFace.com. Listen, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, man, because your boy is on fire. All right? Listen. All right, so we're going to talk about working in a big city like New York, San Francisco, uh, L.A., uh, Denver, like, you know, the big cities, Dallas. You know, working in a big city compared to working in a smaller city or working in, in a business that's outside in the suburbs, how is it, right? Well, I'm going to say like this. In the city, you're going to get paid more. You know, sometimes it's easy to get $100,000 in, in, in a large city like New York, right? It's easy. It's not hard at all. But you have to understand everything is super expensive right so even though somebody might be earning a hundred thousand dollars or more the reality of things is that after you you add up rent which is like you know you're paying twenty four hundred dollars for rent you're paying uh, transportation you're paying for food every day lunch is like fourteen dollars twenty dollars just for lunch and then from there you gotta buy yourself some food after work most people don't even cook at home when you live in the city you most likely you know eat you eat out in a restaurant or go out for a couple of drinks whatever right once you add up all of that shit in reality you're not making that much because you you realize that you're spending way more money uh, working in the city than as if you was working somewhere else right so Let's say an example for somebody who works in, in a smaller business um, outside of a big city like myself. I find that I actually have more money to spend in in the end. You know, once you know I pay taxes, once I I pay my rent, once I pay you know the car, no everything, right? Once I pay everything off, I still have a large amount of money there which I didn't have when I used to work in the city because I would constantly be wasting money on, on shit that costs like three times as much as anyone else outside of the city you know so that's where where my question comes in and it's like where is it better to to actually live and work right is it a smaller city is it somewhere in the suburbs or is it working in, in you know in the city like New York or San Francisco whatever right where exactly is better for you now I would say like this if you like the the night scene like let's say if you're like young you're like 20 21 and you want to be hanging out going to clubs still going to bars and doing a whole bunch of shit I think that working in the city might be fun because you know everybody goes out and, and hangs out and shit like that but if you're in a stage where you're not that that person who's like going out clubbing or going out to bars every single day or you know doing shit like that then i think you know living in the city is not worth it at all because you got to think about it you're paying twenty four hundred dollars for rent or sometimes even more and it's like you don't own anything so let's say right now you're working at this job for five, ten years, and you make a hundred thousand dollar plus. In those five, ten years, you didn't get to really save up anything. You didn't get to buy your own house. You didn't get to buy anything. Maybe you buy a condo, but in the long run, you won't be able to, you know, to have anything to show for. It's more like, yeah, I worked at this company for this amount of time, and I got a four hundred one k, this and that. But in the long run, it's like you wasted your your youth working in a company and pretty much you didn't even get to buy anything you know like real estate is super important because real estate is something that at least you know your money is going somewhere when you pay rent you know that that money is going for the mortgage of the owner of that apartment right but for you when you leave from there you leave with nothing now if you own your own house or your own condo at least when you leave from there you leave with you know whatever the house got uh, appreciated for like so like let's say you got a loan for two hundred thousand dollars ten years ago now your house is uh five hundred thousand dollars you leaving out of there with two hundred fifty thousand dollars because that's how much you put in into it 
You know what I mean? Now, the other person who's living in, in, in a big city and living in an apartment, once he moves out, he's leaving with just his clothes. He's not leaving with anything else. You know what I mean? So sometimes you got to think about it like that. There's a bigger picture. You know, working in a big city, it might seem cool. And working for a big company, it might seem cool. But there's a reason why they're paying so much money. Because everything else is super expensive. Like, I know people who work in really huge companies in San Francisco. And I know for a fact that I have more money in my bank account than them. Because it's like I have this friend, right? He works at Microsoft. He's paying $3,200 for a three-bedroom apartment. $3,200. Like, you know how much is that? That's a lot of fucking money. And you don't own it. You know what I mean? And, yeah, I think I think he rents out one room. But at the same time, it's like, now you're renting a room because you can't afford where you live. And it's like, you're already making over $100,000 and you have to rent a room? Have some stranger in your house? Like, I don't know, man. Like... That's why I kind of moved to Long Island, man. And I really, you know, the next few years, I want to move somewhere else where it's even cheaper, where I could enjoy my money and I could enjoy, you know, when I buy land, I could buy a lot of it. You know what I mean? Like, I was thinking about moving to somewhere in Texas or moving to uh, somewhere in Georgia, um, maybe Arizona. Uh, yeah, because it's like... I don't see the benefit of me staying in a big city. You know what I mean? Like, they, there's really no no benefit. Like, I don't get nothing out of, you know, moving to somewhere like San Francisco. I, I don't get nothing to move to L.A. I don't get nothing moving back to New York City. Like, I lived there my whole life, and I know how, how everything is. Most people that are coming from small towns, they're like, oh, when I grow up, I want to move to the big city. You know what I mean? Like, that's how they think, because... In their, in their head, they're like, oh, they've been raised in, you know, the suburbs their whole life, and they haven't really experienced life that much, but once you hit a certain age, man, and, and not saying that I'm old, but I feel like now, I think of, you know, I think of life, like, totally different, especially after my sister passed away, I think of life completely different, like, I think that I have to minimize the time that I, I work for other people and maximize the time that I spend on my own projects and I spend on hanging out with my family. That's what that's what drives me right now. You know what I mean? So you know you guys gotta ask yourself that question too. Like do you want to work in a, in a big city and say hey I'm paying a whole bunch of money just to live in a city. I'm getting paid a lot but in reality, after you you add it up, you're not making more than somebody who who's paying less rent. You're not making more than somebody who who actually has savings. Like just because you get a hundred thousand dollars doesn't guarantee that you're gonna be wealthy. You know what I mean? Because especially when you you put yourself in situations like you're living in a twenty four hundred dollar apartment, like it's kind of crazy. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, you already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again. I'm just, you know, I'm just talking to you guys. Trying to open up your eyes and shit like that. Like, you know, because it's like you have to think about those small things. Like, is it really worth it? Do you, do you feel like working in a big city in a big company is going to be beneficial for you in the long run? You know, like most people that I know that work in a, in a large company... They live in the suburbs, which means a lot of times they got to go to work for a two-hour drive or an hour and a half train. And then on top of that, you're, you're paying for the train you're, or you're paying for parking in the city, which is like $600 a month. So it's like, are you really making money like that? You know what I mean? So it's like, you got to ask yourself, you know? So, yeah, man, my advice is... Work in a smaller company where you might be making $20,000 less than working in the city. But when you do the math, you're actually earning more than actually working in the city. So, you know, keep your finances, man. Keep, stay up on your finances and 
You know, keep track of your shit. Keep track of how much you spend when you eat for lunch. Keep track of how much you spend every time you go out. Keep track of every time that you buy anything. Like, how much are you spending? How much is your rent? Keep track of all of that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again. Bow.